This is Tales of Heroes number 83 for October 14th, 2011. Fortifications. Wait a minute, didn't we do this last week? Who's writing this stuff? Yes, welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here in the Sound Strategy Network, www.sound-strategy.net. We are almost live from the year 1944 from an undisclosed location, and we've got a great show for you today. I am Bridger, and with me, as always, is my otherwise occupied co-host, Rogers. Uh, glad we could tear you away and get you on the show. Indeed, Bridger. It's good to be here. Uh, between work and and uh, constant work days all the time, and the Battlefield 3 beta, I have been extremely busy. Uh, so, <laughs> time yes. for a 3v3. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Doris, pencil me in for busy between the hours of 3 and 5. I'll be playing some Battlefield 3 then. <laughs> need to relax before I trade some more stock. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, let us uh, get started here. We are on the Red Ball Express, as you can see. Uh, this is a 3v3. We decided we haven't done a 3v3 yet. And uh, while they are not quite as tactical and intense as uh, as the 2v2s or the 1v1s, um, 3v3s every once in a while is a good uh, refreshing change. The bird agrees. Uh, and we are now going to move into a little bit of tactical discussion here. As you can see, the middle of the map is uh, a little bit wider than like a rails and metal. It's sort of a shorter and wider. I'm going to tell them, all right? <laughs> um, just let me get past this part. All right. So we got two fuels, three fuels right in the middle that are all up for grabs. That's going to be a very important part. Two plus ten munitions, which are also up for grabs. I mean, this is, reminds me a lot of the rails and metal fighting uh, over that, you know, thin front line there, so we're going to see how that goes. Let me finish the, the map discussion! God! Alright, so what the, what, the, what the bird over there wants me to tell you guys is that I've got a new show called Tales of Tyria. It's a Guild Wars 2 podcast. It's an audio-only podcast for now. We're, we're starting it up now because, well, uh, I can't stop talking about the game, and I'm very excited about it, so if you want to check that out, the website is talesofteria.com. You can also see that at sound-strategy.net. Sound we'll, uh, we'll take you there as well. So check that out. I highly encourage it. Uh, give us some feedback. It's going to be a good time. So let's jump right into the game now. We are at the five-second mark, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. All right, so we have... The allies consisting of one British player and two Americans, and the Axis consisting of one Panzer Elite and two Wehrmacht. So we're going to have to see how this affects the game. So far, the uh, the kitty cat heading straight to the middle of the map, bypassing all the, the stuff, going to go and try and grab. Now, this is not a bad strategy. You send your fast capper out to grab this plus five, and the other stuff gets capped by the miscellaneous units that lead up to there. So by the time this is capped... These other things should be back capped, and then uh, it's harder for your opponent to really take this while when your combat units get there. So we'll see if that actually works out for them right now. Uh, very early rifles. They must have double teamed that. Uh... Oh, sorry. Those are infantry sections. I'm looking at it. It's upside down. There you go. <laughs> That's not very early at all. But did go for a second infantry section instead of a captain. I have to say that's a mistake on a map that has such a long walk. Look, they're just moving so slow. Yeah, but the thing is, is that, okay, now we got mass cap going on by one of the American players, uh, GLX Hoot, or Oot, or I'm not even going to try. Uh, but he's got he's got engineer spam going on. He's got four squads just moving out for a mass cap on the right-hand side. Uh, the Germans are pushing up a little bit here now, and it'll be interesting to see if they're able to force, they should be able to force him off. I mean, it's only one engineer squad. Um, but it looks already like the Axis are at a major capping uh, disadvantage. Are you seeing this, Bridger? Yeah, I mean, those engineers are going to be useful for capping early, but uh, what are they going mean, to... We got two Kettens on the field. That might even score a little bit here. That might help a little bit. We do have an MG coming out from the middle American player, uh, vo mm. vo Vote Boy design. That's actually very good. If you're going to go 3v3, you got to have one person go to Weapon Support Center and get those machine guns. That's just so nice to have, and snipers anyway. Yeah, support units for one player is key in a 3v3 or 4v4, just for a dedicated support. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Porta really quick for sending us this replay. He's actually playing um, in the southern corner of the map, idiopathic, he's playing. So thank you, Porta, for submitting this game. Ooh, 
So uh, we got some infantry section pinned down in the middle here. Has he moved his his uh, base up? No, he still hasn't moved it. That's got to be a mistake right there by the British player, I have to say. But we'll see. Uh, these American engineers in the middle need to get running. There they go. A couple of grenadier squads, panzer grenadiers, forcing them off. I but, think he just doesn't want to be at a resource disadvantage, Bridger, because when you move your HQ, you don't get any resources. True. So... We'll see what happens. And it does have a long way to travel to actually get anywhere, but those retreating engineers pulled the Panzer Grenadiers right into a machine gun trap. Very nice. The right side is totally uncontested right now, and the Americans are laying barbed wire. I think we might see a mass flamer upgrade from uh, the American engineer uh, mm. star player. <laughs> yeah, if they could just get some veterancy. They also built a machine gun emplacement to cover this plus 10 munitions, so that might Seeing play that. right into your... Uh, oh, and they're going to wire it off, so the only way to get anywhere is either go through the, the, the wire or go through the machine gun emplacement. That's good. Mm. And they also built another MG bunker by the five, so there's no flanking going on there. You see the five. Oh right yeah! Wow. Back. So they're going for a massive defensive war operation here. They're going to need to go infantry company and get some priests to help them push later and take because they've only holding this right hand side. They're not really holding the center with all the with all the fuel. Yeah. I think you meant 105s, Bridger, for infantry company. You said, you said priests priest. are for, sorry, yes, 105s for infantry company, priests for the British is what I meant. Sorry, Canadian no artillery. Um, let's see. This is uh, not good. Some Panzer Grenadiers managed to get behind this uh, Vickers. They just went right around the bush. Or did wow, they do that while nice. it was being built? I'm not sure. But now they're in big trouble, very low on health. Here comes the fire. Oh, oh, that guy's stuck. He's Ooh, stuck. Ooh, that's a texture bug right there, or a map bug. That sucks. Man, they still managed to almost get out. One, yeah, one went down. Good. That was tough. Wow, tank traps going up on the right. Check out this defensive player. He must think he's playing Wehrmacht. <laughs> I guess so. You should put the tank traps in front of the wire, though. Yeah. That's a, that's a plan, because if you do that, they can't break the, the wire with vehicles. So those really should be in front of the wire if they were going to do that right. Um, I'd also leave a so small hole so he can get his own vehicles through and put a mine down over there. But that's not a bad plan. If you're just left alone there like that, wire it up. You can even just use one. Uh-oh, he's going to lose this Ketten. going to lose the Ketten. Yeah, it's got nowhere to go. The right-hand oh. side is totally s screwed up. But uh, I have to say that um, the American on the right-hand side... He's gone weapon support center also. There's no riflemen on the field. Ooh. That's... So they're relying on the Brit to churn out uh, infantry sections then. I guess so. so. Keep some combat power because once wow. the... Wow, uh, look Wehrmacht at the left. Goes... The left-hand uh, Wehrmacht player is bunkering in exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the dragon seats should be in front of that wire, if at all possible, to keep it from being crushed by enemy vehicles. They'll probably build sandbags behind it or more wire. Man. They're just doing that right now to keep the infantry out of um, harassing those lines right away. Um, interesting. So we got the Siegfried line going up on the left, and we got uh, Maginot. Know, Maginot line on the right. Yeah. Uh, the definition of the Cold War going on right here. Lots of snipers out for the Americans as well. Both players have a sniper out, both American players. Yeah, snipers on mass can be crazy useful. Indeed. Just got to watch out for those bikes. Now, where are the Volks? I don't see any Volks. There's one Volks for the uh, the top Wehrmacht player there. The so southern Wehrmacht only built Pioneers, and, and unless he lost something. Hmm, very support-based. That's interesting. Well, the Germans do hold the two VPs, so that's all they need to do. Yeah. Um, the question is, how long can they... They built a little uh, forward observation or a, uh, an HQ yep. uh, in the middle. That's a, that's a good idea. And uh, the engineers are cutting the wire there. And they got a sniper supporting them, so they're going to get through. They just did. Going to get suppressed. So in terms of teching, uh, Porto only has a uh, Wehrmacht out. He might be going for three. And we, uh, got we just got to escalate to assault for him, so he's gone, he's gone to a second tier. Okay. Or no, assault yep. is third tier. Skirmish is yeah, second yeah. tier, so he's already he's maybe going for fast stugs. I mean, they've got all the fuel in the middle. Or Nebels. Nebels would be good, too, Nebels, to break all oh, these yeah. static defenses. Or hell, I mean, with all this fuel, you've got a huge fuel advantage. You could go straight to tier four, especially because right now they're not having too many problems holding it. Oh, interesting. On the left side, we got a, an MG. 
uh, suppressing suppressing the Brits. Oh, laying some they're mines right down here. here in the left-hand side. Just they're pushing up middle right now. The Germans. They just killed a mortar. Very nice. Uh oh, they're but flanked a by a machine gun. Manned by engineers. <laughs> oh, they just couldn't get that sniper. Check out how little health he has. Oh, yeah, look at that. Half just barely making it. Yep. Oh, he lost a squad, too, to that machine gun. Yeah, you got to be careful. Those American machine guns may not suppress fast, but they do a lot of damage. They're very accurate. They they don't have the widespread of the 42. Yeah. And you can see how little damage machine guns do to units and buildings, especially at that range right there. Yeah, next to nothing. So it's it's safe to say this is a very different experience from our normal Tales of Holy Heroes game. Holy crap, we have a Panzer IV out. No! Mark. Yep, Panzer IV out from the Panzer oh, Elite Oh, from player. the Panzer Elite player. Okay, that's slightly more... Say. Panzer IV from the Wehrmacht would have taken yeah. considerably longer for that 80 fuel and then all of the other costs of teching. That's really going to help them. I don't think there's a single AT gun on the field or no, or it's, anything. No, it's eight minutes in, though. They should be expecting at least light armor by this point. Right, but motor pool is coming up for the uh, for design. The, the British base, player. though, is he's probably going straight for that because the British, if they don't have an AT emplacement down when a tank shows up, are kind of screwed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They've what is that? Their first sapper squad just hit the field there. No, yeah, they got one sapper squad up there uh, right now. Probably building a captain next. They really need steward. to support that though, but they can't because it's they have to have it kill the emplacement first. I'd put it. In that, uh, what is that fast yeah. mode? The fast shots? Yeah, uh, hull down. Or it's whatever. not hull down. I know, I can't remember what the hell the name of it is, but it's the one where it's static and it just blows the hell out of everything. Nice. They canceled the 25 pounder on the left and starting to build the 17. It's not going to get finished before that, though. Yeah, no, that is toast. Especially if he goes into that. Oh, they've got piots, though. You got to be careful. That's good. Again, he's doing the right thing. He's keeping them mobile. <laughs> He's gonna squish him. He's gonna squish him. Oh. But you gotta keep <laughs> driving against Piots. Piots have poor accuracy against moving things. Yep. And he's doing exactly that. He is gonna kill them before they can even reinforce, I think. That shot did a lot of damage. See, he doesn't have the side skirts on it, so he's at a disadvantage. Yep, he can't buy him now either. Uh oh. Oh, he needed Dang. that hit. He only killed one of them. GTFO, there's a T17 gonna stun him coming in from the back. It missed. Plink. Very lucky. Another plink. Huge battle going on in the middle, too. The Americans made a push right up center and killed an MG. Yep, a couple of the flame engineers, like you were saying. Uh, that idiopathic uh, port of there's got the, the forward HQ. That one building, that's the only building there in the middle that's really capable of putting that up, and that's going to allow his team to reinforce. Because even if he right goes... into a pack. Look at that on the left. Beautiful. He hit a mine, and now the pack's going to get the T-17. Perfect. Textbook. Well Wait. done. Nice. That's a great spot for a mine, too, because you know he can't go anywhere where these dragon's teeth are. So he has to go through that spot, basically. I was really afraid he would lose that Panzer IV. That would have been a huge disadvantage. Another He's got one another one, yeah. Right now. Yeah, look at that. And there's a Panzer Command from, from Porta, so... The Axis right now are in very good position. They are. They did lose one fuel in the middle. But that Panzer IV is chasing the whole middle side. It's just fallen. Mm. The only thing there yeah, is a the sniper. The Allies really need some AT guns right now. They're coming out with two T-17s to use that stun ability probably and harass the infantry. They got a 17-pounder and an eight, a 25-pounder coming up for the Brits here on the left. They're going to need that, man. They're going to need it. Although, it's certainly possible that if they went in with some infantry, although there's not much infantry on the left at all, is there? No, they the the Wehrmacht only have really support units in the Panzer Grenadiers that are way in the middle. Right, right. Oh, going, I think those uh, Piots just kind of hid in the bush there and yeah, chased them. More Piots behind. Uh oh, Ooh. it's a trap. <laughs> you think he's still gonna get out though? Cause he's got his front armor. He stopped. Oh no! Keep moving. Yay, yay. Wow. Yeah. Here comes another T-17. Hopefully it doesn't just blindly follow him like the last one did. There you go. No, nope, park it. Oh, he's going to stun it. No. Okay. There's a mine attacked. there. They're taking the HQ. Look at that. Flame wow. Range. The Grenadiers are trying heroically to stop it, but it's not going to happen. Yep, 
Last man standing going on. He's chasing the sniper. Oh, check out the low health tank battle between the T-17 and the Panzer IV by the five. Oh, T-17's gonna go down. There we go, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and a light AT half track for the middle. That's not bad. Yeah, we got a Hellcat out as well. That'll help counter the, the Panzer IVs. Yeah. Sure. That thing's huge. Well, unless he tread breaks it. Ooh, if the P is on the ball here, they could get it. Oh, oh, yep. back out. He needed his first shot to count, but it's he's got it back now. he got it back off now. Let's see. Big push by the Brits on the left here. They've got two squads and a lieutenant pushing forward with that 25-pounder for support. Ooh, they took out that bunker there, Bridger, in the uh, with the 25-pounder, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's a walking Stuka, though. Two walking Stukas. Two walking Stukas. They Stukas. need to get out of there and drop some... <laughs> <laughs> Some rockets on those Brits. Yeah. yeah, this is gonna be an artillery versus defenses game. Yeah, look at look at that uh, static defenses set up in middle right now. You got MGs in the back, mortars in the back, and then oh Panther. Panther, Panther um, middle. I I I always go for Panzer four over yeah. the Panther almost every time. Much more versatile in many more situations, you know. It's faster too. You can save yeah. it more often. And they did exactly what you'd expect on the right-hand side here. They put that uh, mine in the one spot. Mm-hmm. That's great. Look at that. Side shot from the M18. He can stun it, and he can spin around that sucker. He could kill the Panther if he's careful. He's got an allied war machine on the, yeah. on the one T-17. I really want to keep this. I really want to keep it. So he drives it backwards. <laughs> Oh, man, maybe he's just flush with munitions, but that's still yeah. a bad choice. He needs a, the the uh, the Wehrmacht player should have, if he had that bunker still, he should put that bunker upgraded to a to a repair facility for all these oh, yeah, he's, Panzer he's, IVs. He's, he's building another one in the back on the left there. The army of engineers is coming See again. That? I just, I don't understand. Well, they're going to kill that sniper. He's got everything sniper. except a barracks. That's, that's just not going to work. Not gonna work for Panther, that's for sure. Oh, jeez, that machine gun is in trouble. Where's that mortar fire coming from on the right here? Um, I think it's coming from the north, but I, it looked yeah, like it was coming from the team right. Team it was weird. Oh, got he's got two team. mortars there. That's why. There's two mortars. All right, good. We got some AT guns coming out now. That's good that he needs those badly. Again, though, the, the Wehrmacht just holding those two victory points the entire game so far. Basically. Yeah, we'll have to see what uh, what the Allies are able to do. They're they're waiting for their AT guns, I'm guessing, and they're going to make a push. What do we got? Two walking Stukas in the north. Have they even shot at all? There's not yeah, they did yeah, the fire one. all the that were advancing by the five. Oh, yeah, look munitions. at all that. And oh, here they go. Panzer four party. Come in the middle. Walking Stukas are going to come down. Are they going to take out the 25-pounder? Jeez, they're hitting everything. Just just barely missed really taking it out. He's going to lose two Panzer IVs in the middle here. Uh-oh. He fell into a M18 ambush. Chase it, chase it. Oh, he immobilized it. Wow, really? I've never seen an American tank immobilized. Well, oh, There's no, a Treadbreaker. The, yeah. Treadbreaker tried to save it. Didn't work. Wow, that was a big resource investment that they just lost there. And now there's an AT gun on the front for the Americans. Ooh, the the 25 pounder is falling on the repairing pyos. They do have a repair station there, Bridger, so they listen to you. Ah, nice. Yep. Oh, they're gonna lose their fuel. That's the first step towards failure. Fire into the win into the windows. Use fire grenades. Go. A Schwimmagen, awesome. That. Oh, again, this no. little sniper. Check out the sniper. He's he's gonna make it away again. Five. There's another now. sniper running back to base right now. Oh man. Oh, the machine gunner in that building died though. Wow. See, I don't know what killed. See, if you would it. have two or three Panzer IVs as opposed to the Panthers, he'd be in much better shape. Whoa! Did that what? Panzer? Did that Panther accidentally kill the sniper? No, I think that was an engineer you saw. Wow, tit. Maybe he was already mostly dead. I missed it, though. So we've got defensive chosen for uh, one of the Wehrmacht players here. Yeah. 
That'll definitely be uh, helpful on this map. And look at this. The I was just going to say the Axis need to try and break the right, and here comes Mr. Panther with the Crush Crush. Yeah. You better watch but out. But that's exactly. That he up. should just stay right there and destroy yeah. that machine gun emplacement. Really Not only because there's a mine sitting in front of him, but just because if you do that, then you don't need the Panther anymore. Heard him much. Heard him much. And the M18s are moving to respond right now. And if they can catch him from behind, ooh, that could be very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Schwimmwagen. I think we got infantry. Oh, yeah. We got piles laying mines on their side of the national line. Check that out. Panther's backing off. That's nice. Walking Stukas hit the uh, left side again by the 25. 25. Still, they keep preparing it, though. Yeah. They're keeping that thing alive. They might lose this panther here, actually, Bridger. Yeah, they're not repairing it. It's right there. Repair it. Go, Pioneers. There he goes. Now they finally got some infantry on the field. I'm really surprised there's been, like, no infantry. Yeah, Especially from the Wehrmacht. Very gradual push tactic. Look at that. They got a 17 in the middle as well now. Nice. And we're starting to see some British armor. We got two 25-pounders up now. Nice. By the uh, fields or the armor command truck. Very nice. Yeah, the Wehrmacht needs some uh, Knight's Cross with some veterancy. Yeah. They need something because they're in uh, they're in a bad way right now. Look at those snipers. That sniper's got two levels of vet for 16 kills already. Huh. Like what happened the to the Schwimmwagen? Slink out of the window. That's great. They just fall out of the window in the bunker. Oh man, here comes a big push on the right. Sherman plus two Hellcats. Here they come. Don't stop your M18. Keep driving. And a Sherman? Well, that might do a little bit. I don't know. The Panther's got some strong frontal armor. These aren't M10s does, we're talking about. The M18s about. are helping. What? Okay, that is not... Okay, you want to drive around, not park in front Ooh. of me. Is that artillery coming down? Infantry company? No, it's not infantry company. It's probably a 25-pounder. That's 25. Yep, it's 25-pounder. They're just missing that one mine that would help the uh, know, Vermont. Right? The did they just tread break? No, they just did regular AT. No, I don't think he's probably on cooldown. Yeah, the cooldowns are really long for the PE abilities. That's some good uh, tank preservation. He's lucky he got that uh, Sherman out of there. Oh, here comes a Chert, a Cromwell. That's not going to fare well against the Panther. <laughs> I don't care if you're hitting the side armor. It's not going to fare well against the second <laughs> one either. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh, and a Martyr. Yeah, GTFO, man. That is not a party you want to play. Overdrive reverse. Overdrive reverse. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh, we just it just sounds like I heard we could get uh, an 88 oh, coming man. sometime soon. Okay, so they got Vet 3, but look at all these AT guns in middle, Bridger. This is going to turn on the action. He needs real infantry. Fast. That's why I'm saying they need to yep. stop building Panthers and they need to start building uh, tons crossed. of infantry. The only thing guarding the center is lots of AT weaponry and a, uh, and a T 17. Well, they have some MGs in there as well. They have one that's actually Vet One, which is nice to see. But that's what the that's what the um, the Walking Stukas are for, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's a good point. And he still got them. He's preserving those pretty well. They need to hit the the MGs and the AT guns. Uh, an 88 just came up. Here comes a Calliope barrage on middle in the southern half. Oh no! Two snipers are being charged by two Volks with MP44s. <laughs> Who will win? Dun 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 Oh no, there was a machine gun. That's not fair. It was gonna be Mortal Kombat. Wait, did they get him? A different sniper got him. Yep. There was a third sniper. There was a third sniper. Oh man, there was another shooter on the grassy knoll. Actually, it was more like by the wooden barn, but yes. The wooden shack thing. By the warehouse, you mean? Grain building. That little wooden grain building. I know. <laughs> the Cromwell stuck there. Does that say same Cromwell? It can't be. Oh, well, it was. Yeah, well, it was, yeah, I guess. Now it's drinking tea in that great big old castle in the Jeez, sky. Jeez, the Brits are just asking to be slammed with artillery in this top corner. Look at all this stuff packed in here. He just lost two M18s on the right-hand side. Whoa, what killed those? Concentrated yeah, Tiger or Panthers? one to the Panthers? 88 and one to the Panther. Oh, it did have an 88 up, there. The 88 just... That's a great spot for the 88. It can watch that yeah, whole right still side. On that Sherman back there, my God! Oh, direct hit though from the artillery. Oh, He's got to keep a repair crew nearby. Right, firestorm coming in. Yep. All the engineers are about to die. 
No, they hit the retreat pretty fast. Although now the right is opened up. That wow. panther so and the fire. Look at the MP44. There you go. That's what I've been talking about. Wow, both of them. What is this? A sniper holocaust? Oh, he really should have gotten that second shooter out of there. The third one. Oh man. It's no. Don't retreat. Oh, they did kill him. Never mind. Man, what is that like? Th okay, that's a uh, 360 for a sniper. Wow, there was three of them there. They got all of them. Yep, that was brutal, man. And what looks like that maybe have been an old machine gun, but okay, they're taking the right now. They're going to get the victory point there, and they're going to get themselves back into control. 88's about to go down. There's now. the Knight's Cross. All right, so we're not dealing with stupid stupid Germans. That's good. I thought this was going to wow, be over real quick. Double Armored Company, and they both went Calliope side, so there, wow. there's going to be a lot of artillery coming in. That's where Knight's Cross are great. You just keep them moving. There's one AT down. Uh, they need more veterancy, though. They're getting clipped real hard. Yep. They need that second level gets them a little bit of extra defenses. Spot oh, here Spot they go. Sprint. Oh, they're down to one guy. They're trying to finish off those mortars. Look at him. You just got to reload. Chewing <laughs> There's okay. one guy. He's going to finish off the both mortar teams. There he goes. Yeah, see, see how much damage they did with those MP44s, both with the Panzer Grenadiers and with the Knight's Cross. You never okay. underestimate those guys. Unless there's a machine gun, then they might have some trouble. Ooh, that Sherman's going in real weak. It is, but it's up against a Volk squad. So We're the Panzer Shrek. And Panzer here comes Faust. the Panther for backup. Check out all the engineers. Like, we will get you. I don't know why they're German all of a sudden, but hey. Uh, the Brits we're are breaking the left. Look at that. Oh, they're not really anymore, but they were. Nice, they used officer artillery. No, 25 to kill the MG there on the left. There was still a second one, though, so they got pushed off. Fireflies are coming out, too. Yep, Bridger. yep. Is there a, that's a command tank. Good. Yep. Although, that's not a good thing for a Firefly to take on a Panzer III, Vet three. And a, and Panzer a pack as four. well, I mean, friend. Panther. Ah. <laughs> the captain just bit it! <laughs> no, that was the <laughs> lieutenant, sorry. Did the pack kill him? <laughs> yeah, the pack got him. Or no, the Panther did, probably. Oh, get the pack out of there. Run, dudes. Ah, uh, uh, direct. Did you work. see that tree go flying? Wow, yeah, <laughs> it's still flying. There it is. Look at all this. Yo, right-hand side just got torched. Ostwind, you're not going to be super useful. Nobody went airborne. Oh, we have a humor. Just firing on the left-hand side. It's firing on the 25-pounder. Awesome. There it is. Still haven't been able to kill it, though. Is that, is that a Victor, Victor target being dropped on the Panther on the left? It was green smoke. I forget what that is. I think it's Victor. Or, uh... Yeah, mm. it's, it's all artillery pieces fire at one point. They're missing, though. Yeah, it just walked out of there. That's not a good idea to use against a mo mobile target. Here come all the MP44s in the middle, but they're ready with an MG. Nice. Look oh. at that. Suppressed. No, two of them got by. Two of them got by. One of them, sorry. And ran into freaking fire. Whoa! Ugh. They need that. They should have had the flame grenade if they just... That one squad that got through. Whoa! There's the support they needed from the Hummel. Uh. Coming at the last second. Yeah. We've got two Hummels and a Martyr here. Just tosses the bodies aside like little wow. ragdoll. Wow. Yeah. And that AT gun's getting hit. So there's three AT guns there. Just charge them with, with MP44s. The machine gun's gone. You could take out the 17 pounder. You could take out everything in the middle right now with MP44s. Well, they got a lot of MGs that are reinforcing and healing, but they'll be back on the front soon enough before the Germans can make a another medic. push. So The Americans built an aid station on the right because they don't have any riflemen. <sighs> they don't even have a barracks. I think this is a TOH first. Yeah. No rifles. Engineers only. Yep. All engineers, all the time, doing crazy things. Engineers gone wild. <laughs> they need to get these calliopes closer so the barrages are more packed together as opposed to yeah. spread out. There you go, Ostwind. That's the counter to engineers. Hell yeah. He needed that on the right-hand side for a while. Also jeeps, as I found out very hard. <laughs> Don't laugh, hey. I'm sorry, it is a solemn moment. 
Yes. Oh, m middle is pushing forward. Probably into Ooh, more the Hummel spam. hit a mine in the left. Oh, yeah, it's in trouble. Panther, yeah, chase that good. down. Well, they're both at very low health, so... No, the, the Panther's got Vet 3 and Frontal Armor. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. It's also being repaired. Ooh, here come the Knight's Cross at middle. Are they going to get suppressed? Triple Vet Knight's Cross. Go for it. No, they're not going to get suppressed. Not by American machine guns. Wow. Not even both by two of, of them. Quick, Panzerfaust that thing. Panzerfaust wow. the armored car. Go. You've this got three like of them. Of the Panzerfaust it. Break. Do it. Panzerfaust. Come on. T-17. The T-17. I think three would do it. No, it, it wouldn't do it. It all was 5%. Yeah, that's true. There's another machine gun. Screw it. Just charge them. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. I love how the last guy was about to get on the MG and then one guy just passively turned and Whoa! Shot. Victor target over there, I think. That was a lot of shots. Well... The t 17 is trying. It's just not doing anything to him. Okay, if you look, like, on the TAC map, look how much is happening all over the map. Like, there are tanks wow. on the left, tanks on the right, infantry middle. It's like, what the hell? Oh, man. They're gonna take out this 25-pounder, but they won't be able to finish it off. Without grenades or something. Mass no, look it. They're going to kill it. They're going to kill the guys, but they're not going to kill the emplacement. I don't know, dude. Check out that damage. Check out that damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's the Panzerfaust to finish they it. That's right. They all pull out Panzerfaust like they're, you know, pulling out s'mores to roast at a... At a and they're all fire. healing over time, too. So they, yeah. they only lost one guy so far. Yep, just keep wrapping around. It's the, this is amazing. Wow, two squads have 11 kills and one has eight. Yeah, There's a captain. Eight, kill that son of a squad. bitch. Captain's going down, and that'll make everything else easier to kill over here. This is, like... This is so brutal, I can't even tell you. Wow. That light ET half-track just came out of fire. Oh. The Brits just just felt the pain. They need help, wow. and nobody's there to help them. The Americans are oh, are, are fighting for their life. The, the orange busy. American player, he lost everything except the T-17 when that charge went through the first time. They did get yeah. one squad, though. Yeah. Ooh, they did. Yeah. But it was the weakened squad. It was the short bus squad. Yeah. So there's a reason. Reason for that. Oh, my goodness. They're going to try to take they're out gonna this. They're going to get the second one, too. <laughs> that would be totally worth it. Even if he loses one squad here, but he needs to get at least one of those guys out. Those are expensive. Especially with that veteran seat, definitely. Uh, yeah, the Brit needed to go Panzer Faust it with two guys now, now, now. Hummel's firing on the casualty clearing center. Oh, he couldn't do it. Oh, he called in. Firestorm? That'll finish it. Oh. it is. Yeah, boom. <laughs> There's a Cromwell command tank still limping back home on a destroyed engine. Oh man, and that's how you get ants. The Panther. What? And that's how you get ants. Are you eating? No. I'm confused. It's a. It's from Archer. If you ever watch Archer. No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. What the hell's going on here? So the Hummels on the left can now pound the weakened British on the left. The Americans on the right have rallied with a couple of Shermans and uh, and, and a T-17. I'm sorry, not T-17, an M-18. And they've got the two the two um, Calliope's in the center. I know he's got a Sherman, too. Jesus. The two Shermans in the now. center, the Calliope's in the center, are have been alive the whole game. I don't know if they've done much, though. One vehicle kill, one house kill, and one infantry kill. Jeez, it's what a Sherman, waste of Sherman 500 manpower each or whatever it is. Yeah, five or 650. 650? Manpower. It's 500 for, um... Uh-oh. Wow, V1. V1. Where the hell is that coming? I don't know. I'm guessing left side, but I'm not sure. Nope. I'm Boom! Whoa. And then something dropped on the... What Stukas. was that? Was that a walking Stuka that finished Stukas. off the other Sherman? Yep. And look at the corpse of the M18 is still cloaked. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ghost, you know, like in Star Wars. It's a ghost ball. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. 
<laughs> Calliope saved. Who's the Calliope's American player? They're raging, uh, but they're not b killing much. That's going on. Save the MG bunker. Save the MG bunker. Up. Oh. We got a medic bunker back here too. Medic bunker and a repair bunker. Wow. And is that another repair bunker? No, it's just a regular bunker, I think, that hasn't been upgraded yet. That is crazy. We have two Hummels on the left hand side. They're both trying to kill the 17 pounder in the middle. What the hell's going on with the Brits? They got nothing left. Look at this mass of Panzer Grenadiers with MP 44s on the left. <laughs> They know they don't need any Shreks. Why do they need Shreks? They've got Panthers. Oh, we've got a Burger Tiger fixing a Panther. Oh, God. This is the kind of map where Burger Tiger can actually be used for that purpose. Ostwind against Sherman. That can't end well. But how did that Panther get way behind the Sherman? Where did he come from? Was he chasing That's, something else? Yeah. I think he was chasing the NGs. Oh, and Walking Stuke is dropping yeah, through. Look at the size of those shells. It's like a small child being fired at them. Yeah, of rockets thing. are effective against tanks. Who knew? Hey, who would have thunk it? Well, the Germans, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> they came up with it. On Reddit the other day, they had a, a post. Oh, my God. So much colliding. Oh, and I guarantee it won't kill anything except maybe that building. Oh, my God. Well, Austin was... went down. I'm sorry. I was wrong. That was a lot of concentrated fire. Look, everything's on fire. It's like Vietnam. It really is. So they had a post on Reddit the other day. It was a picture, and the caption was, This thing actually exists. And it was a picture of a Nebelwerfer, and it said, This is a Nebelwerfer. It werfs Nebels. <laughs> okay. Yes, it throws smoke for those of you who don't Yes. Speak. Smoke thrower. It was kind of the secret code name for the Nebelwerfer to try and convince the Americans, the spies, maybe, that it wasn't that harmful. It wasn't harmful. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we have an entire division fun. dedicated to smoking. I really hope that they save up all their cooldown and fire five calliopes at the or four calliopes at the same time in the same place. That would kill anything. It would even kill all of these knights cross that are now oh, charging again. Easily. I think he got what one out of there last time. Yeah. He's rebuilt two of them. <laughs> Those engineers are already toast. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh that yeah, Firefly. Oh, jeez, he got one of them already with a lucky mortar. Or was He's that hiding behind the building. Look at this. <laughs> He's hiding. That's me in Battlefield 3, baby. Yeah. Too many. Get behind the building. Oh crap, Hide the buildings the disintegrate. <laughs> the Firefly just helped them kill the 17-pounder. <laughs> it missed and shot the 17-pounder. Oh. Now they've got artillery spotters here. Drop a V1 My on that gosh. poppy right there. So much carnage. <laughs> it verse Nebels. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh, the Americans so recaptured the right here, but the Burger Tiger is charging them! Charge! Is it gonna try and resurrect the. Yeah, it's gonna try and resurrect the. Um, the. Ostwind, that's the word. There you go. <laughs> You're in the way! Move! I'm trying to get to the Ostwind. I'm sorry, but those that crew on the back has to be on like Xanax or something. <laughs> Aren't they, did you see that when you said that? They put their hands to their head like they were saluting yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir! Whatever you say. Oh, one of the Shermans, I thought it made it away because it was driving in the same direction as the other <laughs> one, it was out of control. <laughs> so, Holy, look at the left-hand side, just MP44 mob. Oh, jeez, again! The Brits didn't learn their lesson last time. Oh, get in the trench, get in the trench. Holy crap. Man. That one guy like Rambo with the Bren was trying to hold off the whole team. It didn't work. Why did they? Yeah, that's a good question. Why did they retreat? They could have taken out the the mortar half track and everything. God, Pam. 
the amount of stuff the Brits have lost, this is this is gonna be really hard with four Panthers on the field about to crush the Americans. Well, I mean, okay, right side is getting hit by artillery again, and then there's a, pan a Persian coming as well, so that could kill one Panther. It brings it down to three, and there's also one low health in the middle. Here comes more artillery. More they could artillery. Lose two Panthers here. They could do it. Oh, uh, uh, AT gun. Oh! They lost one to the uh, Calliope. Yeah. Nice. And a, and and a Firefly three. helped that too, it looked like. Yep. Two Fireflies, though. There you go. Okay. Plus uh, three Fireflies. Damn. Oof. And he's firing on the very low health uh, Panther on the right. Too many Panthers. Oh, a Pershing saves the day on the right, I think, here. Get it. Panther stopped. Fail, Panther. Now look what you've done. You lost your main gun. But just keep pointing back towards it like you can do something. Man, they really lost control of the Panther. Nobody's got Tigers. Nobody went Blitz. We could see a Tiger Ace, maybe. Or, uh, uh, sorry, King, King Tiger. Tiger later, you know, for what that's worth. I think that would help the Americans if that <laughs> happened. <laughs> it really would. Well, so much for the four Panthers. They're down to two. Yeah. But it's wow, okay, because they still have again. walking Stukas to save the day. Where's the walking Stuka landing? In the same spot? Oh, jeez, where's that panther going? Get wow, it away! Wow, they're the firefly party. Those need to get out of there. If he loses his fireflies, it's just going to be game. Yep, 88's firing on him. Holy crap, he built a third 88? My god. He did? Yeah, the other two were destroyed. Oh, okay. I thought you meant three of them were on the map right now. That would be awesome. We need some Shreks to flank with. That's what he really would uh, use. We, we got sprint going on. Yeah, to get away from the Calliope. <laughs> what are these guys thinking they're going to accomplish by charging behind the armor uh, that they can't kill? God, these tanks need repairs so badly. No, AT grenades. Oh, AT grenades! Fire. Oh, my God. You're going to get a second one. Oh, he got... Oh, yes! <laughs> wow! God. Worth it! Mm. I have to say. Actually, no. Nailed it! Yep. And I think the American forgot that he got... I think the Panzer back. Elite player is right now winning the game. Look at how many damn Panzer... He's got four, five Panzer Grenadiers, two Hummels, a Martyr, and an AT Half-Trek on the field. He's got some unit preservation skills going on right now. This panther, this Pershing charging is a very, very bad idea. Oh yeah, that panther could chase it down and kill it. He it really very well might. Have seen that the 88 is bad. Oh, but he's using his vehicle, the crew repair vehicles. Right into two no, friendly Germans, Shermans. Don't get closer to an 88's line of sight. Wait, wow, they could kill it. Yeah, they're out of range, I think. It's got to get a little bit closer to be in range. Ooh, the panther! Oh no! Now they need Calliope. Lots. Alright, so what's the status here? Left and right locked down by the Germans. What the hell happened to the Brits? They got nothing in the north anymore. They've got one boffers and one mortar. And a 17 pounder and a, a Piat squad. Not wow. in the far north. They've still got that in the middle. Oh though. my god, another Panther goes down to a Calliope. A wayward Calliope shot. <laughs> And the body of the poor driver is being buffeted around. <laughs> there it goes further away. <laughs> and the wreck was destroyed, so it can't even be resurrected by a burger tiger. <laughs> Dude, the right of the map has just been blanketed with uh, fucking Calliope shells. They've upgraded an, a forward HQ on the far right. They've got Sector Shrek artillery? Grenadiers now. Sector artillery on the 10. Ah, you're not taking that. Here. Oh, here comes some Shreks. Wow, Shrek party! Where did they come from? Wow, there's another 88. Two 88s on the right now. So he lost all of his, all of his, uh, all of his Knights Cross, so he said, okay, I lost him to tanks, so let's build some anti-tank. <laughs> oh, oh, flanking, helping out his teammate. Oh, God, and here comes the Knights Cross. Oh, jeez, he has Knights Cross, too! Yeah. Oh, wow! He's Cut like, look at me, through I can counter him. everything. <laughs> and they're all Vet 3. Yep. Yeah, what's that? The, the Sherman's the only thing that's got a chance of helping, but it doesn't have enough health to do it. Vet 2 Pershing now. Nice. Calliope's also have a chance. I should have mentioned that. 
fly people out right now, it'd be easy. Get one more shot team. with all the Shreks and then run. This is run time with Shrek Party. This is just okay, maybe fun. one more. Straight up the center. Here come the PE. Jesus. No, get out of there. Oh, he lost another Grenadier squad. Wow. But he picked it up with the <laughs> Knight's Cross picked up a Shrek. Nice. You see that one guy running center somehow? He's the fastest one with a Panzer Shrek. Seventeen pounders gonna go down here in the middle and then yeah. they can rush. Henschel's on the right. Oh, he's calling in friendly fire. Look at that. He's calling in Calliope's on the seventeen. <laughs> Worth it! Well he's like, he might for know. killing it. <laughs> yeah. And well, now the Panthers can push forward. Fire. That's gotta be game here, man. Yeah. I mean what the hell are they gonna do? Need more Calliope. The Panzer Elite player and that one on the left, the Vermox player, he's, he got three of his Knights cross back, but no Grenadiers. Oh, sorry, one Grenadier squad made it back with a single Shrek, and he picked up one other Shrek, so he's got a lot of manpower to make up. He's got his, some Volks just chilling there, like not participating in anything. No, Although the left... The left's got nothing. That three Pershing, though, and it's about to get hit by two Hammers. It is getting hit. Those, Those engineers are going to get yeah. killed. 300% damage while repairing, they're toast. Humble smell the engineers. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> there goes one. So the and Brits and the Americans are getting killed by massive amount of infantry. And they said, yep, more artillery. That's the plan. Ah, there we go. My goodness. Oh, one of them dropped. Wow, I think that's Panther it. could go down here. Ooh, yeah. Lose another vet three Pershing. Hell yeah. Ba bam. Nice. Out of control. Yeah, the Pershing could take out this other Panther too and still come and get home for dinner. And Firefly fire in the north. Nice. Ooh, this could this could get him right back. Losing two Panthers right in a row. That's a lot of that's 1,200 manpower. I'm curious if you're watching the mini map, uh, why the hell is he sending a Calliope to cap? <laughs> <laughs> the left side, he's I think he's scouting people. with it. Like... They've done nothing. I've got too many. I need to. I need to free up some pop cap. Let's scout with the Calliope. I like. I like how uh, it said above uh, the Calliope. It said, "Hit mine." You yeah. Should have said, "Do not want." <laughs> that would have been better. Yeah. Have fun going after the <laughs> Pershing with the. Yeah. Good luck. What are you gonna do? Break its tread? With three engineers there? Oh my God! It destroyed. Jeez. Well, I mean, they have bears. bunkered the right hand side. Yeah, that, that's a third 88. No, just two 88s. No, three 88s. I was right. No, oh, they just lost a flak. Oh. To a sniper? Yeah, the sniper killed the flak crew. Reman the flak with the sniper. Go. No, they can't do that. But still. For the yeah. Fatherland has been activated. Holy crap, Panzer Elite, the entire German army's in the middle right now. <laughs> wow, that quad just came a little too late to the battlefield. Yeah, well, Shrek Party said hello. Wait, <laughs> now they've all got Shreks. Still fire. Except for one. That Pershing's like, oh wow, this could be bad. Yeah, 80 grenade it while it's stationary. Back Do up, it. keep backing up. To the right. Oh, he's going in the base. Maybe. Maybe oh, he'll make it there. Run them all over. Run them all over. Oh, don't turn. That was bad. Oh. Drive straight now. Keep going. Check out the uh, the priest rush on the uh, in the middle. <laughs> the priest just like, I will heal your sins, my son. <laughs> now they uh, they jump in the air. They just heard confession. Oh, jeez. He's running all the way back to hide in the base with the Pershing. Look at this. They're sprinting after it. <laughs> oh geez, so many of them were <laughs> It's gonna keep going! That was a man, I'm telling you. Oh, engineers appear to defend the Pershing! <laughs> Frightened Pershing hides. Wow, yeah. Pershing used hide. It's super yeah. effective. <laughs> Wait, no. It's only super effective because Pershing used machine gun emplacement to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 
Wow, check out the German mob on the left. These engineers are like, uh, no. Yeah, this no. is, uh, this is clearly game. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna call it for the Americans here. <laughs> yeah. I think they definitely, uh... The T-17 definitely... is going to murder everything. Yeah. Well, duh, it's trapped behind Brens right now. Oh my god, this Calliope, it's Vet 3. Why is it trying to run over... It's running over infantry! <laughs> <laughs> That was for Hans and Fritz! Yeah. And Voinkenstein Flonk! Flachstenhafen. Her. Strudel. Strudel. <laughs> I just lost 30 German listeners. Yep. I'm just messing with you. Your names are long. This T17 is Oh, double, very double Hummels. Hummels, where are they hitting? The base. Take out those base machine gun emplacements. Simultaneously. Well, they almost did take out the machine gun emplacement. It's like, yes, the machine gun emplacement. It almost killed the engineers again. Wow, the American player is being affected by exploding base disorder at the moment. Yeah. Crush everything! Oh, that Pershing just full-on ran over a Volkswagen here. Oh, jeez! He countered off their defense and just, they just... Wow! That was like a stampede of tanks! We're losing territory. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is this? There's a fire still rocket artillery maybe coming out on the Pershing. No, they're out of there. Yeah, rocket artillery too. Ooh, yeah, rocket artillery is awesome. That's a really impressive Pershing though. Look at that, 25, 1, and 2. Yeah. Cool. Unlike like the King Tiger, the Pershing moves fast and it has accuracy against infantry. There are and it two fires Shermans faster than once every 30 seconds. In a sector with sector artillery active. I don't know if that is advised. <laughs> Mm, yeah, not sure about that. Oh, that's right. Sector artillery and um, Henschel's uh, have the same icon. That's why I saw that before. Duh. Seriously, man. Look at all that infantry on the left. What the hell? There's no counter. I'm surprised the Americans and the British haven't given up yet. I think one of them already did, honestly. Oh, we have smoke popped on tanks at mid. And they're still hitting every time. <laughs> it did nothing. I saw three Shreks hit it directly after it. Oh. Crush them all! <laughs> it almost got all of them. It plowed one, two, three, four, at least seven guys. <laughs> Man, they should have lost more tanks like that. They would have been. A, that's the counter. Yes. To all the things on the left out of control. Give, give the Germans a Pyrrhic victory by running them over as you death slide to your doom. <laughs> Actually, the allies have two victory points right now. The hell? <laughs> they need a they need a, a Ketten to go and cap some stuff for them. No, they're just gonna use Panthers and ADHD. <laughs> the sniper waited until they all went past and was like, "Ping! I'll get you yet." American or German? Oh, Shrek's gonna get it. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. What? They're sprinting. <laughs> it didn't new. continue Fitness, to Fitness go. Regiment for the Germans, they're all on Jenny Craig or something. Left. Wow. Oh, jeez, they're getting attacked now from the right. Uh, the middle middle player is having a hard time right now. That's a lot of infantry. This is why you need strafe every day. Oh. Now they the use hell? Ally War Machine. A tank is extremely out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he was reborn oh. only to be attacked by a vet three <laughs> panther, panther that's just out. waiting for him. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that was an entertaining. I have to say, though, the Pershing micro was fantastic. That guy kept that thing alive for a long so time. Yeah, it's still alive. 26, 1, and 2. The Brit player, I think, bunkered down and didn't do enough attacking. Yeah, he, he should yeah, have pushed more. I think commandos would have served him pretty well. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And the, uh, the right-hand American not having... Not having riflemen, many couldn't help. I didn't get to the Wehrmacht yet. Not having uh, riflemen meant that the uh, the American really couldn't support the middle except with those flame engineers. I mean, you couldn't. Yeah. Th there was nothing in the middle that could ever push. Mm -hmm. If he would have had bars, they would have been in a much stronger position, I think. But then again, there's nothing in the middle that could stop a bar push either, because yeah. at the beginning, all they had was support units for the the Wehrmacht too. 
Yeah, but the snipers really helped shut down all the support strat that the uh, Germans yeah, had Yeah, that's up. true. The Americans had the snipers that were doing a, a number on those middle units. What did they get, like 19 or 20 kills on one of them? 26, yeah, something yeah. like that? It's pretty crazy. Whew. Well, that's a crazy odd three-person on three-person match. We that promised you one insane. of those. Indeed. So, um, so that's our fix for, I don't know, what, a year? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. And... Uh, and I guess we'll go back uh, next week. We're going to have a not next 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 week's going to be training Tuesdays, but the week after that we'll do another um, another good one on one. Uh, one of the other ones that was uh, a runner up for the contest that uh, was really well done. It's either going to be Sefa's or I think I can't remember who the other person that submitted that. We got two more at least from that contest that are really good games. We'll we'll delve into those the next time. And uh, remember, check out the Tales of Tyria podcast at talesoftyria.com or sound-strategy.net. Uh, it's an hour and 20 minutes of Guild Wars 2 hilarity and fun of audio nature. We're recording another one tonight, actually, in about a half hour. So I gotta go eat. So for Rogers, I am Bridger, signing off. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>